All right, so let's see how we can gray out part of our screen just like that for maybe a, like a plug-in tutorial or something like that. And then of course have it pop back onto full color here in DaVinci Resolve. So it's pretty easy to do. The way we're gonna do this is actually a couple different ways. Uh, the first way we're gonna do it is kind of down and dirty. So the first thing we need to do, because we want to show the viewer, we just don't want them to hear, you know, this thing bypass. We want to show that on screen so they can, you know, tell it's been uh, bypassed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the area that we need to turn gray right there as the, I can hit P on my keyboard to get a full screen and then use my arrow keys to go back and forth if you need to do that. All right. We can see it right here. So I'll just use my arrow keys right there is where I want it to turn gray. So I'll press C on my keyboard because that's what I have my razor tool mapped to. Otherwise you can just click it or use whatever shortcut you have. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna pull my playhead up, which is about right there. So again, use my arrow keys to get this exact, so right there, and then add a cut right there. Press V because that's what I have my arrow tool mapped to. And this is gonna be the down and dirty way. I'm gonna hold down Alt, and I'm gonna copy that video track up here. I'm gonna select that video track, as you can see, open up the inspector, and double click cropping if it's not open, just double click that, we'll expand this. We're gonna crop this out so we just have the plugin or whatever you happen to have on your screen. So as I start cropping, you don't see anything happen. That's because we have literally the same video on top of the other video. So that means we're not gonna see any crops. So let's go ahead and bypass this track here. Go ahead and just turn it off. So now whenever I select this track here, I can come back to my uh, cropping and I can start cropping here, cropping this out. I'm in the single viewer mode, by the way. If you don't have that workspace single viewer mode with that off, you have your two viewers right there, but we just want the single viewer, all right? So again, track right here is turned off. We have the track we wanna crop right here selected. Open the inspector and let's go ahead and crop this up. I'm gonna come to my viewer. I'm gonna scroll up with my mouse wheel. I'm gonna press down on my mouse wheel to adjust my position to get a better view. And I'll come over here to this number input area and I'm gonna drag with my mouse here to get a little bit of a finer control. And just right there, very good. Press down on the mouse wheel to scroll over here. Same thing for the right. I'm gonna pull that out and then finesse it up a little bit. Come down to the bottom, again, pressing down on the uh, mouse wheel and go ahead and crop the bottom. Very good, come back here and fit this to our screen. And now we can go ahead and turn on our underlying video track. So right now, nothing happens because we still have the same video just on top of another video. So let's go ahead and select this track. Again, make sure the top one here is selected. Head over here to color right here. We can tell that proper track is selected right there. Can zoom out with the uh, scroll wheel again. All we need to do is come down here to saturate and just pull that down. So now it's black and white. We can do other things like maybe up the contrast or take the contrast down or whatever you, uh, you don't want to do. Maybe take the lift maybe down further if you want to sort of uh, change that gray look. It looks pretty good. Back here to edit, and now we are done. Play back. Turns gray when it's bypassed. Comes back on. Of course, you can always press P or Control F to get to your full screen. You can see what that looks like right there. All right, that's a pretty quick and easy down and dirty way to do it, but we can also do it another way by just using the uh, color page and power window. So let's go ahead and do it uh, that way. We'll do it fresh. Okay, so same thing right here. Let's go ahead and find the area where we want that to turn gray. Use my arrow keys right there. Press C to grab my razor tool. Cut it right there. Come down here, use my arrow keys. Right about there. And cut it there. Go back to my selection tool select that track and this time we'll just head right back to color so this time we're going to use a power window just click this icon right here to get to your power windows select the square in this case that's kind of what we want again i can zoom in here just by scrolling up with my mouse wheel and we can use these controls here the size and the aspect if you want to do it like that we can also directly just grab it and sort of pin it here to our different points and i'll, I'll you know fix this up a little bit once we get it sort of in the ballpark that's good. Scroll up here. And then I'll make sure I get this right there on the corners. Just adjust them a little bit. Very good. Pressing down on my mouse wheel to move this around. Well, there, you can zoom in as much as you would need to 
need to to get it perfect. And last corner right here. Looks pretty good. Zoom back out or I can just go fit right there. All right, so now, since we have our power window, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. You can see up here in this icon that we have uh, sort of masked out this, uh, this selection. So same thing we did last time, just pull the saturation down. And there we go. We didn't have to create a new video track this way. We just essentially put a mask around it. Now, one thing you might wanna do, uh, because we have this softness control on right here, which you can tell by this line right here, I can turn this softness down because I don't really need any softness. I want it to be a stark, you know, black and white and uh, in color. All right, make any other changes that you want down here. Maybe make it a little bit darker here. That's a little too much, I think. Let's pull this back up. So that looks pretty good right there. Come back to the edit page and there we go. So now because we cut our video track right here, it's gonna turn gray only as soon as it bypasses and it turns color right there because we didn't, uh, you know, we didn't mess with this part of the track. So again, look at that. Boom, tells our viewer that our plugin is bypassed. Very cool. Again, if you wanna see that in full screen, it looks pretty cool like that. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now, another thing you could do, uh, just as a tip, let's go back, select that clip back to the color page. We can invert this window, which might be kind of cool. Uh, that makes the background black and white and keeps our plugin in color. That might be something you wanna do for some other, uh, you know, other creative effect. But for what we want, we want the, we want the actual plugin grayed out. All right, so that's how you can easily and quickly gray out just a portion of your screen, either by doing it the old school way of cutting your track, duplicating it, cropping it, and uh, graying that out with the uh, color page, or if you happen to have certain effects, uh, you can use those as well. But using the color page is a quick way to do that. Uh, or of course, just uh, cut the track as we did. Don't duplicate it and just use your power windows, desaturate it, make any other color adjustments that you want, and you're good to go. Thank you.